is up my home bros it is reckless riley here and today we are playing dead space with the game type dead space and this is outbreak this is episode one of this three-part map series now this is by cell ghost would you like to say the numbers because i forgot the numbers that is 2106 sorry cell ghost 206 would you like to say hello hi how's everybody doing now guys i'm in love i'm pure and utter i'm smitten i'm smitten right now this is the best I'm uh, this map right here is probably one of my favorite infection maps I've ever played in Halo Reach or Halo 4. This provides the best gameplay, the best everything, the best environments, the best ideas, the best game type ever. I've oh my goodness, I'm I'm just in love with this map. Now this, the enthusiasm. Yes, yes, I love this map. All right, so um, what you do in this map is it's kind of a recreation of Dead Space. There's gonna, it's an impact, obviously, like um, most, like the series is gonna be. Now, if you go in space, you'll, uh, your shields will go down, but you will still be a two-hit kill. Now, to kill somebody in the um, one to ten game game type, because there's two game types for this, depending on how many people you have. Now, if you have one per, uh, if you have four to ten people, so you can play this with a minimum of four. Uh, if you have four to ten people. To kill a human, it's going to be five hits. Now, don't worry, this is fair. It is about a, almost a full clip to kill a zombie, and it is actually such fun gameplay. It doesn't matter if you're a zombie or a human. There is no sighing going to. There's going to be no sighing when you are playing this map, unless it's Gangnam Style and, and sigh. But that's that's a different story. Anyway, I just love this map so much. There are so many great ideas behind it. Now. First thing, damage. Now, when a zombie tries to attack a human, we'll be talking about the 1 to 10 game type, it'll be a total of 5 hits to kill a human. But, they do not gain back their shields, and if they go in space, they'll lose their shields. But, if you want to get your shields back, we get to a really, really cool idea that this that Cell Ghost has thought of. Holy crap, this is such a cool idea. There are, th uh, there are a total of 3... 2. 2. Oh, Alright, there's a total of 2 health stations. Or what are the recharge stations? I sometimes call them recharge stations just because it sounds like it, but they're quite useful. Now, if you stand inside it, it will give you the speed kind of a visual thing, and it will also make it so that you will gain back your health. So there's also a 10 second kill boundary in there, so you can only be in there for 10 seconds, so you can't just keep spamming it and hiding in it. But if you are inside it, if a zombie attacks you while you're while you're healing, it's a one hit to die. So you mu you really really gotta strategize when you're gonna be in there and how long you're gonna be in there. But it's really really smart to use this. Now there are multiple parts of this map. There's a cafeteria, there's a living room, there's a hallway, and then there is the bedroom area. And there's also the hangar and the space area. Now you can hang out in space, but not a lot of people do that just because you don't have any shields. So it's really really hard to do that. But zombies are not affected by any of these shield things. So zombies keep their health throughout the entire thing. Now, inside the hangar area, it's a good place to hang out. And usually you'll get pushed into here because uh, the living room will be taken. The, hall uh, the hallway with the windows, I just love how this hallway looks. It really, really has a really dead space feel to it. It really feels dark and gloomy. But it, you're just you're on your toes the entire time you're in this map. The aesthetics in this map are good, and the thing that I just love is how the environment looks. And also, you have a stairwell to heaven, which I call it, and you hide up there. And there's ordinances. Now, guys, that you have limited ammo in this map, so you can probably kill about maybe five zombies without reloading. Um, and I mean, when I say reload, I mean you have to reload your clip. But if you want to reload without a wh by getting more weapons, there are reloads of your bolt shot and your assault rifle. You'll have a primary of your bolt shot and secondary of assault rifle. And the, um, would you like to explain why you chose the bolt shot to be in there? Well, the bolt shot really looks a lot like the uh, plasma cutter from Dead Space, and it works quite to the same effect. You're not going to be um, using it as a pistol. You're rather going to be using it to blast them with the overcharge. So that was the uh, idea behind it when you were choosing the bolt shot. And the assault rifle, it's just general. You're going to use an assault rifle a lot, and it's, it's your main ammo uh, guzzler. Yeah, nobody uses the bolt shot as a pistol, except for me. <laughs> except for me. It's pretty much your shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh, so guys, this ha map has really good aesthetics and environment. The environment, I just love the environment of this map. It feels so dead spacey. I'm not even sure that that, if that's a word, but screw it. Anyway, how is it... Uh, how does this map translate from Dead Space to Halo? Now, would you like to describe how this map uh, translates from um, Dead Space to Halo? Because you've played it a lot more than I have. Well, see, Dead Space is all about the claustrophobic feeling that you get, and you're really, you're really working hard to kill ne the Necromorphs. You're not actually uh, able to kill them in one hit like you can in most zombie games. What you're doing is you're working to eliminate them in a slow-paced way. 
So when you're playing in this game, it's the, the necromorphs aren't necessarily as hard to kill, but they are a lot harder to kill than your average zombie. You're gonna take at least one full bolt shot blast will kill a zombie, and almost a full assault rifle clip will kill them as well. But you're also playing with more survivors and more um, and more zombies. So when you get down to the last man standing, he gets a little bit of a boost of power, and he's able to um, attack the more the onslaught of necromorphs coming after him. So once you get down to one man left, it feels a lot like Ted Space. Yeah, you get it, in this map. It, oh my goodness, this map is so scary to play when you got a ton of people. When you're playing with like 16 people, you got zombies who are just gonna like literally jump scare you. That's another tactic we're gonna talk about. Now there is jump scaring in this map, and holy crap, it provides so much fun. Now. What and one of the best things in this map is let's say there's like a, a, there's like MLG Pro Super Dead Space people who literally just spend all day playing this one map. Now literally, guys, there's some people who, I like. I played this like we literally were in a lobby and we played this three times in a row. It was so much fun. We still want to play after that, or at least I did, and I just loved it. But um. Uh, what was a really smart idea is uh, humans will just hide out in little areas, but what's smart to do is just have a whole bunch of zombies just, uh, just completely hide in one area, and then just jump out of nowhere. At some point in the gameplay, you'll just see that, all oh, holy crap, just zombies come out of nowhere and just take me down, but I get, but they don't take me down without a fight. I just destroy the heck out of like five zombies and I'm finally dead, but I just... Oh, it, when you're dead, you don't even care if you're dead. You're a zombie. Now it's time for you to do your, your fun time. Um, and I, I just love how the jump scares work. Um, would you like to talk about other tactics in this map? Yeah, well, a lot of the goal of the humans is to just survive the three minutes. You don't want to worry about anything else but survival. You're not going to be going out, killing zombies. You just want to live. But what you're, what you're going to do as a human is you're either going to stay in one spot and try to lock it down with your group. For example, I'll use the living room. It, it seems that like a lot of people will sit here and they'll guard doors and everything. So it would seem that that would be a really difficult place to take over. The problem, the good thing about that is that it's not hard to take over because there are various points of entry to the living There's room. There's a total of three entry points, two that are a lot easier to get in with, and then the third one, which is a, more of a hallway, so it's harder to get in with. And yes, since the, uh, this hallway is uh, uh, farther than the zombie's lunge, yes, it is actually longer than the uh, zombie's lunge. <laughs> And so, when people are hiding in here, they also have the benefit of the recharge station. So they, if they get hit, they can go immediately go in there, which again would seem to be overpowered. But if you have a zombie come in, there's an entrance directly beside the recharge station. So they see someone using it with their Promethean vision, and they can go up and just kill them immediately. It's an easy way to get people eliminated, and it's an easy way to bring people into your group. It's an interesting thing that I found in this map is um the the living room is a place where most people would hide, but what you did is you didn't put a single ordinance in the living room. There's no ordinances there in there. So if you want to go get ammo, you gotta leave your comfort zone. You gotta go leave, uh, and you gotta go to a different place. Now the one place that is not often used, but it should be used a lot more, is um is uh the area that is an entrance that goes from space in i'm not sure what you would call this area right here um the airlock area the, yeah the the what the airlock yeah the airlock area in the airlock area there is that this is where the second healing area is now not a ton of people go there but it's such a good place to actually go uh you'll see in the gameplay that i or at least you might see it that um we go here and we actually take out quite a bit of zombies and it's a pretty good holdout point and uh, zombies just try and hide at the doors. They just sit there, and then all of a sudden, boom! We're out. We're destroying you. <laughs> and they, either way, you're gonna have a fun time. Either getting stabbed in the throat, or just being a zombie and, and stabbing other people in the throat. You have a fun time. Um, but there's just so many things I love about this map. And uh, just the last thing I'd like to talk about, in uh, when it co goes to cover of this map, there's a lot of really good covers. Uh, stuff is used really well. The tables are used well. Tr uh, everything in this map, every corner, everything is used so well. There's so many good things in this map. I can't even go, uh, go over them. But this showcase is going pretty long, so I will see you guys later. This is an amazing map, and you will, uh, you will literally regret for the rest of your Xbox Live membership if you do not download this map frickin now so go on xbox and download the frick out of this map you know what download an extra 10 copies just because you don't want to lose this map because this map is a halo classic now download this map sell so, what would you like to say before i click the pause button and we'd be like done this bye thank you have fun
Alright guys, I will see you guys later. I'm Reckless Riley here with Cellgos206, and we will see you guys later. Roll the dubstep. Oh, oh.